Oh, there you are. So today we are on a new adventure. That air tag number four, the original one that has been sent quite a time ago to Sydney, has been handed down and handed down and now it took a really big trip. Okay, here we are at Sydney Airport and the next time I saw the um, air tag was in, in Arabian Sea on the way to Dubai and I could identify the plane that was uh, Sydney to Dubai and um, yeah, so that was not too difficult to do, followed the plane into the airport apparently it's a rather large airport but anyhow and uh, soon after the uh, air tag arrived at the hotel and um, the very next day it went back to the airport and turned up in Tashkent in Uzbekistan and uh, there we had quite a bit of uh, traveling around which I uh, followed the air tag as much as I could because of the time difference at times it was a little bit difficult to do that. Another thing I found interesting is that um, street view is not really well done in, um, in Tashkent. It is there but yeah not not really that well. It seems to be more a private thing than anything else. But apparently our friends who had the air tag with them did a bit of sightseeing and um, visited quite a few places. But I'm not always sure that the um, location of the air tag was very accurate because uh, at times you look at it and say, nah, I don't think they're in there because once it showed a what they were in the ministry. Yeah, and the next thing is uh, it went to the train station. And uh, the next time I saw it being from the... Um, from the air tag, it was in Samarkand. Yeah, same thing, lots of uh, sightseeing in Samarkand. And don't ask me to name, to name all these places, that is quite a tongue twister, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, again, uh, street view wasn't really that sort of uh, a thing that I could use it, yeah, no, not, not good. Anyhow, so uh, I followed it as much as I could. Also found um, in which hotel our friends were staying. And um, then they had a bit of rest. <laughs> yeah, I must say, either they forgot to take that thing with you or they had a day off, one or the other. Anyhow. Anyhow, I followed them as much as I could. Again, the time difference was a problem. And then back to the train station. And um, the next time um, they turned up was uh, in Bukhara. And um, here I found a street view image of the hotel they were staying in. And... Um, yeah, so they did the same thing, a bit of sightseeing in, in Bukhara, or Bukhara, I, don't, don't quote me on the name, please. And um, then how they got there, I don't know, that happened while I was asleep. So uh, either by train or road, I have no idea how they got there. I just put these big maps on so you can have an uh, idea where, where, where it all is and how it all fits together. And, um, yeah, I was, what is it called, Kiva, I don't know. Here's another image of a bazaar I found on, on Street View. And then it got really interesting. They ended up in the middle of nowhere, in the desert, in a tent camp, tent town, tent hotel. I, I have no idea how you call it. But it looked very interesting, and it is on... Uh, on, on Street View, and there are some uh, pictures uh, on their website. So that was very interesting. Yeah, I said, okay, I could handle that. And um, yeah, then we made slowly our way back 
and uh, then again with the time difference it wasn't always easy to follow the the air tag but I think I managed rather well and then back to the train station and yeah when they were on the train I got no pings at all so only when there were little townships yeah how do you call that Kagan I don't know back to Tashkent and in Tashkent um, they spent a day or two and then um, went back to the airport this was another thing here I could not get pictures of the inside of that building I think it is a mosque but I'm not I'm not too sure and uh, yeah it was so interesting to follow them I got somewhat regular updates but uh, at times there were one two three hours in between yeah it makes it difficult to to get a good picture and here we're back at the Tashkent airport and the next time I saw them they were back in Dubai and in Dubai I followed them around and um, I think they stood in the Radisson hotel that's sort of pointed to that and um, yeah I don't know I don't know maybe I'm right maybe I'm wrong and then they did a bit of sightseeing in in Dubai and then I had a big surprise they went to the mall to the mall and the next time I got a ping they were in the middle of the desert in the middle of nowhere but I found the place that was um, that was rather interesting that seems to be a little hotel village camp type situation I'm not too sure and um, <coughs> sorry and the next time I saw them at the, at, uh, the big sites in in Dubai and uh, what do you know they were on the way back to the airport and um, so the next time I saw them on the way from Sydney airport home okay guys see you later bye